Yo, what is up guys? So for today, we're gonna to be talking about Destiny 2. Now specifically, we're gonna be looking at Null Composure. I'm gonna be explaining how to get it, how to get the ornaments, and my opinion about the weapon itself. So in order to get the weapon, you have to go to Banshee and get the A Sacred Fusion quest, which essentially just asks you to uh, earn points by defeating targets in playlist activities, earn bonus progress for defeating targets with fusion rifles, disintegrations, or solar damage and crucible gambit or strikes, playlist, additional progress for defeating targets with a stasis subclass equipped. So the best way to use this is, or the best way to get this would be to use a fusion rifle, a solar fusion rifle with a stasis subclass. That's gonna be the best way to do it. And crucible or strikes would be the best way. Gambit, if you're crazy, and that's really it. It's not gonna take you that long. Um, after you complete that, you'll have null composure. For the actual ornaments, uh, it's like literally every other ornament you've ever done. For the Vanguard, it's defeat combatants and strikes with fusion rifles and solar weapons. Complete three nightfall strikes. You can do the easiest nightfall strike. It's not that crazy. For the PvP one, defeat guardians with solar weapons or fusion rifles, use a solar fusion rifle, and then earn three Valor ranks, not that crazy. And for the Gambit one, earn Drifter winnings and complete seven matches. I think they fixed the earn Drifter's winnings because when I logged in, what is it, this week or last week, I ended up just getting it. So there you go. You might either have already unlocked it if you're working towards the skins or you might have to just win like three or four matches i don't know how much it is but after that that's really it you have all three skins you have the weapon itself and now you're using it and let's look at the weapon itself so here's null composure it has fluted barrel for ultra light barrel uh project infuse increases range and for the first one it's gonna be feeding frenzy and heating up for the second one it's gonna be reserve burst and reservoir reservoir burst and high impact reserves and yeah it's a fusion rifle it's very lackluster if i'm being quite honest the fact that we were getting reservoir burst we we're really excited but when you use it it's just kind of like a fart but we'll get to that when we get to that i'll obviously show gameplay but it's definitely kind of disappointing uh i use it a little bit here and there but to be fair I literally, it's, fusion rifles are just so bad. So let's look at the skins. Uh, we usually do this and everything. And here is the PvP skin, which is just a PvP insignia. Same thing with the Gambit one and same thing with the Vanguard one. I will say, I do appreciate the fact that the skins, the, or, not, the ornaments change the shader. So right here, you see almost everything red. For this one, this is not red. Uh, th there's a few changes that I actually do appreciate because there's sometimes you just don't want something to be that type of red or whatever. So it does it for almost every shader, if not every shader. So that's pretty cool. So if you like a shader and you don't like the way it looks, you could definitely look around to see which one looks good. Like I think personally, this one looks really cool. So yeah, I do. I do like that, that the, sh the skins are actually changing the shader and it's not just like it literally looks the same. So that's I appreciate that. But let's get on with the actual like opinion about this weapon. Uh, it's pretty boring. It's bland. It's a fusion rifle. It's literally a fusion rifle. There's nothing special about it. Um, you might be asking like, well, what's the difference between the other weapons? The other one was a grenade launcher. The other one was a sniper rifle. It literally didn't do anything too crazy. Uh, that's where you're wrong. Like essentially the sniper rifle had really good roles for PVE and PVP. Uh, Adored had or has triple tap and warple weapon. And then for PVP it has killing wind and snapshot sights, which is really good. For the grenade launcher, it actually has salvagers, or for salvager salvo, it has not only spiked grenades, but it has ambitious assassin and warper weapon for PVE and for PVP. Demolitionist and chain reaction could be said. Personally, I think that warpal and ambitious work really well together for PVE, but demolitionist and warpal is also a great choice. Uh, all of these are really good for PvP as well, aside from maybe fucking Chain Reaction, but those two weapons have, like, their niche. It has something that I can use them for. Specifically, Adored, it's a great weapon for, like, solo play because you're doing triple tap with Vorpal, which means that I can essentially use this pretty much anywhere. 
Uh, same thing with Salvager Salvo. It has Vorpal and a choice of Ambitious Assassin or Demolitionist, which means that you can either be getting your grenade really high or you can be shooting two, two rockets at once. For Null Composure, there's nothing, there's nothing that really it to be honest though it's a fusion rifle fusion rifles are not that great in pve and in pvp it's just kind of like whatever to be quite honest maybe it's the fact that reservoir burst is very disappointing on this one uh high impact reserves i haven't used it yet just because like i don't use this in pvp there's other fusion rifles i would literally use over it like plug one is literally the only one i would ever use in pvp because of the rolls that it can roll with um there's obviously there's other fusion rifles it's just that i don't fuck with fusion rifles i mean i have like a trinary system that has like surplus and high impact reserves i have a techie and force with kill clip and rampage like i have a lot of good fusions apparently I am just not a fusion rifle fan. Like I have glacial clasm with surplus and high impact reserves. Like I have shit to pick from. It's just that I think null composure is just like probably one of the weakest ones I've ever seen. Even like glacial chasm, I have so much fun with. Fucking Techian Force. I have two. I have two damage perks on that. Te like null composure is just disappointing, bro. They need to bump up uh, fusion rifles in PVE. Not so much in PVP specifically because you can get high impact reserves and heating up for no composure. But in PVE, it's just like, why would you even use that? Especially like in high end activities, like there's no point. There is no point. So that's pretty much the video. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. I, I have no strong opinion about this other than that it's like the weakest fusion rifle in the game so far for me. Is it fun? Yeah, it's fun. I use it like in basic bitch strikes and stuff, but I will never use this in the nightfall. I will never use this in PvP. I will never use this literally everywhere else. For like a day-to-day -day, uh, basic, basic like bitch weapon, sure, it's fine. You don't have to have anything too crazy as long as you have something to kill bosses really fast in the strikes. But you will never see anyone use this in, in like high-end shit ever because it's useless so i know this is pretty harsh but at the end of the day uh when it's when it's when it's being like compared to like adored and salvage salvo and when i say compared it's like literally those are the other pursuit weapons that we've had and to have null composure it just feels like a letdown so hopefully the next one's actually good hopefully we get a shotgun we've, i don't i don't think we've ever seen a shotgun uh ritual weapon pinnacle weapon or anything like that oh no we have it's just super old uh python something but yeah let me know your thoughts in comments below if you guys want to follow me on my social media outlet sync in the description below i thank you all for coming up to this point and i'll see you guys later